Oh my god! Anything? Oh my! Everybody is getting messy, man. So that happened. We saw Messi gifted out like it's Oprah in the 2000s. Content released. We have an SBC player pick. 30 minutes, it was available. And Team of the Year Messi was a reoccurring theme. In fact, if you could comment down below, how many Team of the Year Messi's in total do you believe were player picked or packed or SBC'd within that 30 minute window. Beautiful people, what's happening? Welcome back to the channel. Chew boy called it. Former EA employee, saw him on Twitter early doors. The community, I've never seen so much salt in this community. This is why this is crazy to me. This is a social experiment because I'm seeing people who didn't get her asking <laughs> EA to take it from the accounts of people they got it, which is insane. This nobody wants to see other people win in this community. It's a, I thought that was crazy. Are you gonna take your um, Messi from you? Probably not. I'll say 99% not, because the amount of time it takes to create a script that detects all the people that has Messi and I don't know if they gave it removed from people's account. To be honest with you, I don't think I've even seen them do that. People were upset if they did not get the opportunity at Team of the Year Messi, and then they saw social media. As you may have seen, EA came out with an official announcement. The major takeaways, players who completed this SBC while it was available will keep their rewards. Could you imagine if you have Team of the Year Messi and it disappears? The one time that you were online at the right time, the player pick worked out for you, and it wasn't guaranteed, the odds were just up by a lot. The SBC will not be returning as originally designed. Shocker. This statement, in that time frame, an estimated 0.7% of ultimate team players obtained a team of the year messy item. Hold on just a moment. What's the measurable? We're missing some key metrics. And it's not just me that's confused. On EA's initial tweet, we have community context and it's the same question that I'm asking, 0.7% of players obtained a Team of the Year Messi item. It fails to declare what that is a representation of. We don't know whether that is active players, total players, or just players who completed the 86 plus league SBC. I can't do the math, and I'd like to, in terms of percentages of how many Team of the Year Messi's coulda, woulda, shoulda, have been player picked or packed. I can tell you with the utmost certainty. There are not many on the market. We have 10, 11, 12 Team of the Year Messies that are available for purchase, which means none were packed that were tradable. And this is a reoccurring theme with Team of the Year players, hence why the price points went crazy. I believe wholeheartedly this is the easiest year ever to have a good team without putting money into the game. In fact, maybe even to have a great team. But due to the lack of Team of the Year players being packed, and there were two full teams, let me remind you, for the first time we had men's and women's Team of the Year collectively, full of phenomenal players. I have never seen a market like this. There's not enough opportunity to resell players or to even pack tradable players to generate anywhere near what these Team of the Year items are selling for. Mbappe, unattainable and also gonna cost you 15 million. What's Hansen up to? Eight million coins. Pateas, eight million coins for a center midfielder. Holland, nine million coins. Do you see where I'm going? These players will not be attainable for nearly all of the player base because there's no way to generate the coin difference. You gotta, just, just, just stick with me. 91 Holland, who you're unlikely to pack, highly unlikely to pack, 70,000 coins. 97 overall, Holland, 9 million coins. Where's that calculator at? From normal gold Holland, it will cost you 125 times his price point in order to attain the best version of that player. Forget about it. Mbappe should be 
relatively simple. The gold is 1.7, 1.8, eight and a half times the value of the best gold and the most expensive gold item in the game. Let's do one more for good measure. This probably makes the most sense for where we should have started. I didn't see any team of the year Messi's being packed until that player pick. 58.5 for the gold item, 10,750,185. That is incredible. We've never seen this before. It's unprecedented. The only time that I could think of outrageous prices were during the major coin selling error. But then again, all of the players were more expensive because you had an access point to generate the coins and you could make trades. It was just a different period, but it allowed people to have a lot higher volume of frequency and ways to earn and make exchanges. A little monopoly back and forth. I guess my question for the community how do you attain these team of the year players? When I look at the ratio, I don't see how it's possible for the majority of consumers that even grind the game every weekend league, long hours, extended. Hopefully we stir up some conversation. I'll get back to everyone in the comments as per usual. I appreciate you being here. I'd love to know your thoughts. And as always, I have a lot more content coming out ASAP, ASAP.